Baker Mayfield talked about the importance and the atmosphere that he expects uh, in this Monday night game against Steelers. With everything in our division, the situation at hand for both teams right now, uh, regardless of Ben's situation, I think it would be a great environment. And then to add on top of that, just everything that he's given to that franchise over the years, um, the success he's had consistently for a very, very long time. Um, you know, I have nothing but respect for Ben. Um, and so I'm expecting just an even better environment, both teams to be uh, playing for, you know, the livelihood of the playoffs at hand. So it's just one of those things that everything's aligning to where this game matters quite a bit. Um, but for us, we, we need to handle it uh, like any other game and one play at a time to do our job at, at the best possible level we can. And Tim, this is in essence a, a playoff elimination game. Loser is out. Um, the winner needs help to stay in, but if they get the help and the help's not unrealistic, they would still be in the playoffs going into the final week of the regular season. Yeah, it's one of those games where you don't really have a lot to gain, but you have everything to lose by losing. And I guess the Browns do have like at least a little bit of you know help in that department, knowing that they have, have experienced the playoffs, that they just won a playoff game. They know what it's like to be in these kind of games now as opposed to last year when they were – just going through it really as a group for the first time so that helps but i think when it comes to this game in particular i think whoever's going to have the advantage is going to be the team that can control their emotions the best i mean the steelers are going to be playing full of emotion you know because they want to not only stay in the playoff race but they want to make make sure that ben's last game at pittsburgh isn't a loss for the browns you know they have they want to prove that, you know, they're as good as everybody said they were going to be at the beginning of the season. And obviously at seven and eight, they've fallen short of those expectations. You know, a loss ends this pretty much ends the season. It guarantees them a losing season with nine losses going into that last game against Cincinnati and potentially a win does potentially set up that winner take all game between the Browns and the Bengals in week 18. But the Browns obviously can't think that far ahead because the season is Monday night for both these teams. Pittsburgh's got the advantage, I think, of, uh, you know, being at home, the emotional juice of what should be Ben's, uh, could be Ben's final game in Pittsburgh, but the Browns do have, I think, a talent edge and, you know, the experience edge of that, the fact that they, the last time they went in Pittsburgh, they put up 49 points against the Steelers and sent Pittsburgh home at, in the wild card round of the playoffs. So it really is going to be interesting to see how this, this uh, turns out. 